this is the second video and I'm going to quickly try and go over what styles and formatting is again and why it's important because I did it in the last video. You might not have gotten to the end section. On the website, on my website, Ron's Tech Hub, you go to BTEC Level 3 IT free resources. So let me go back to the home page again. So on the home page, you scroll down, you see free IT resources under this section here. Under college courses, there's going to be free IT resources. Click on that. It's going to take you to this section. Scroll all the way down to unit 16. This, that's what we're working on now. This thing that says assignment writing frame, I will give you guys a PowerPoint, a PDF of this when I'm finished. But as for now, it's just a Word document. So feel free to go to file and download this and you can work from this if you really want to. So styles and formatting is simply a way to lay your document out in a logical way, in a logical way that's easy to follow and that allows you to easily move around the document as well. It looks very good as well. For example, this is a title heading. And then down here we have heading one and anything that's a subheading would be heading two and a subheading of that would be heading three, subheading and so on and so forth. The benefit of this Imagine you had coursework that had hundreds of pages, dozens of pages, and it's very hard to scroll through and find exactly what you want. In most word processors, so right now I'm using Google Docs. This is the same for Microsoft Word. It's the same for WPS Office, any of the free Office programs, any Office program that you use. Once you have a word processor that's relatively up to date, it's going to allow you to, uh, to, to view the headings. And once you can view the headings, you can jump around a document easy. So right now I'm, I'm on the very first page, but let's say I wanted to go to the section that says P3 produce plans for a cloud, whatever it says. I don't have to scroll all the way down to P3. I don't need to scroll and keep looking and keep reading and keep looking. I can look on the left hand side. This is my navigation pane and I can say, oh, P3 is right there. I can see it. So let me click on P3 and it takes me straight to P3 and I can read what P3 says, leave my comments, do what I need to do and move on. And let's say I need to do the same thing for D2, for example. I'm just picking them at random here. I can click on D2. It takes me straight to D2 and I can start doing what I need to do. This is a very simple document at the moment. But when it gets to 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pages, it's going to be very hard to be scrolling through and reading stuff. So this is typically what we do. In a professional setting, you have to use styles and formatting. It's a standard thing. And you also have to be doing references. So down here, I've left a few references in the writing frame. So if you can mimic or follow that referencing technique, you should be good. For the link, because most of us are going to be using links for website, I've done two different things. So I've pasted the actual links of the HTTPS www. the long link. And this is just what I copied from the website. I've also done a shorter link, which looks a bit nicer to me, but do whatever your teacher says. If your teacher says do the long one, then you do, you do the long one. because all of my coursework is submitted digitally. I prefer to use a short link because it just looks a lot nicer. Imagine if I copied a link that was three, four lines long, and that does happen sometimes. Rather than pasting a link that's three, four lines long, I could simply make it short like this. I will show you how to do this when I get to that section because this document right now is not editable by me because I logged into the wrong account. In any case, hopefully that was useful. Please, please use style and formatting and you must reference every single website you use. Get used to referencing that website. It's going to be a standard thing at university. Thank you. Good luck.